Alright, this is Doom World Mega Project 2017. I'm going to play map 42 by Raphael Mode. And I'll give it a shot on Hurt Me Plenty here. So this is the HUD for the Mega Project. And um, it's going to be in here, GZ Doom. And um, yeah, I don't actually know what it looks like, so I'm just going to go ahead and warp to it. Here we go. So we start off with a message here. Uh, G Junks is the name of the map. And you can pause it and read that if you want. I'm going to get going here. We've got three secrets, 186 kills, 43 items. Okay, we get a cutscene here. Okay, here we are again. Start on a rooftop with some graffiti. Projectile. Um, so yeah, he says that most of the monsters are new or modified or just custom one way or another. <laughs> okay, uh, so I guess I go down the vent. I'll take a rocket launcher. Chain gun. Alright, the imps are a different color and they have different fireballs. They look a little slower. Oh, but they bounce. Ricochet fireballs. What fun. I see. Um, so far, design wise, I like the outdoor area, I like these buildings. But it's pretty straightforward so far, not a ton of detailing besides like the graffiti and um, rectangular, but it's it's realistic. I mean this looks like a courtyard of like some apartment building or something with a fence here, which I can Okay. Trampoline or something. I don't know if there's anything over there. Graffiti all over the place is kind of cool. Yeah, I got a rocket launcher. Okay, so the Baron of Hell has a different attack and different health. Okay, here's some armor. I got. I'll, I'll go up there then. Like what I need to do. Okay, so it looks like we may have just replaced all the hit scanners with with fast projectors instead. I know a lot of people don't like the concept of hit scan and would rather see fast projectors. So that's what we have here, it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and save it here now. Because I save. I think there was a medikit up here. And a stim pack. And another stim pack. That was a good trip. Alright. Back to it. Uh, there we go.
I wonder if the... Any other monster's health has been modified. Ah, uh, got not the ricochet. I like that, that's a nice feature. Well, that's, that's clever. Okay. So this is the area with the cutscene. It appears that there's some some of the same monsters that just look a little bit different, which I like. Gives it a little bit of variety if if they have the same abilities and health and everything, but they still look the same or, or they look different. It gives you a little sense of variety. I mean, I think these are just all the same good old-fashioned shotgunner. Well, not good old-fashioned, but slightly modified with the fast projectile rather than the hit scan. So there's a switch here. Switch here. Should have got the uh blur artifact a little earlier. Yellow card. It's a really nice feature, the the uh, imp fireballs bouncing off walls. I like that a lot. That's actually innovative. I don't know if that's stolen from somewhere else or not, but whoever originated that, I like that idea. got an interesting attack too. I'd like to see maybe their hands be red instead of green then, or their attack still be green. But it is interesting. I'm just gonna grab this. Because I'm getting far away from it. I'm going over here. All I had. Alright, I'm gonna these guys. I don't think they hurt themselves. Oh. Yeah, I mean that it's it's pretty simple as far as layout design. But I like it. It's somewhat realistic looking. With all the... It just looks like you're hanging out in... Like a neighborhood. There's yellow key. Oh, where do you come from? them a little bit more fair. Okay. Arch files can resurrect themselves, I think. But they die very easy. I guess I should have saved that berserk. Um, yellow key. Yellow key's here. Yellow keys around here. Uh, 
that was probably isn't gonna end well. I did not see him at all. I think I'm soft locked here. So that's obviously not a good thing. I have to cheat to get out of here. Okay. Alright, so I need to get up there, yeah. Looks like I'm failing at it. change there. of the revenant problem. Yeah, so now we're in this more like traditional tech-based area. Two bullets, so yeah, I wouldn't say their health has increased at all.
busy running for my life to read the uh, messages. I mean, do these guys hurt me? I don't know what this is about here. Did I get a key out of all that? Oh, I think I did. Um, maybe not. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't really care for that. Um, I don't really... Custom Monsters isn't really my thing, so... But hey... At least I know how much health that thing has.
It's nice to hear a pain elemental on something that's not a pain elemental. Well, this is, in many ways, just as annoying. I shouldn't have saved it with 16, but... I still don't really understand these ghost things. they die ever, which is why I haven't actually tried to kill them. <laughs> but hey, maybe they do, I don't know. What I need is to ride one of these lifts all the way to the top so that that way I can actually get the stuff from the ledge. But. might help. enough of this site. Again, new enemies aren't my things. Aren't my thing. Um, new... We've got a... I mean, this is a new boss, I guess. I, I, I'd like to know what is actually up with the monsters. I don't think I can kill these, but I'm not positive on that. So... Yeah. Um, I'd like to finish it, but uh, I, I guess this probably is the very end. I, I'm assuming I have to kill the boss. Um... Alright, I'm just gonna I just gave myself health there. Just so I can have a better shot at this. finish it and see what happens. See if it is as simple as kill him and it's over. Wait, was 
that there the whole time? Or did he leave? I think he dropped that and he died. So yeah, I get the key. And I... Okay. Okay. So yeah, not a, not a bad map. Uh, some interesting features with the imps and the barons of hell and the uh, fast projectiles instead of the hit scan enemies. I thought that was all pretty interesting. Um, I, I didn't like the final boss fight just probably because I arrived there with not enough health and I saved it with not, no health at all. Um, but uh, I, I didn't really like the final three quarters at all with the ghost thing going on because um, I was I'm pretty sure I can't kill them but I wasn't positive so I wasn't sure what to do with them um, just it was an annoying enemy and I, I guess I would get used to it if I played a lot of maps with that enemy in it um, so props for making a new enemy um, and everything like that just wasn't my cup of tea. Now the design for the rest of the map, it was pretty basic, it was pretty straightforward, but I liked it for the most part. Some nice features with the uh, trampoline things going on. Um, like I said, the different enemies, uh, the arch files, um, certainly an interesting thing to do with arch files. Um, yeah, I mean it was a pretty fun map, I'd, uh, I don't know much about this map maker, what other maps this person has done, or if they're all like this with modified features and everything like that, but uh, it was interesting. I, I thought the final the final boss was interesting. I just didn't really like it. Um, um, because m Mostly because of all those ghost things in there. I think uh, I would have enjoyed it more with monsters that I could kill. Um, even with an arch file or two in there to resurrect monsters, but monsters that you can never kill but can always hurt you and get in your way, that was just annoying for me. Maybe it's because I'm not a great player, but or maybe it's just annoying, period. I don't know, but that's my two cents. That was uh, G-Junks by Raphael Bode. Thanks for watching.